I'd like to introduce Reg from England, who's going to tell us Margaret's story. Margaret takes LDN for multiple sclerosis. Good morning, Reg. Good morning. Could you tell me Margaret's story, please? When was she diagnosed with MS? Um, she's had it about 18 years. Right. And what were her symptoms initially? Initially, um, she fell down the stairs and she, she lost her balance and the doctor came and they had some tests and then they done further tests over a period of time and eventually they came up with the conclusion it was multiple cirrhosis. Okay. And was she offered any medication? She, she had, um, I can't think of the name of it now, but she had some medication at the time. Um, and she was taking it for quite a while. It was a liquid, I can't think of the name of it now. Okay, it wasn't. But anyway, she was taking that for a good while and it, it didn't do anything anyway. Right. She, it still slowly progressed. And um, about four years ago, yeah, she, she progressively got worse and about four years ago she stopped um, walking, she you know, got to a stage where she couldn't walk and she became wheelchair bound and you know, bed bound and she's been like that ever since. Alright. How did Margaret hear about LDN? Um, we heard about it from Dr Gil Hooley at the Essential Health Clinic in Scotland. Right. And Margaret went up there and she had the, um, the scan done on her neck and they found that she got partial blockages on both sides of her neck, but she hasn't had the operation at the moment. Right. And um, she's been taking the LDN probably about 12 months now. Mm -hmm. And she had quite a lot of spasticity um, in her legs, which by taking that, it's actually got it under control to a degree. And she she still takes um, baclofen and um, tizanidine. She still takes those, but they weren't controlling it. But when she started taking them back at the naltrexone, it reduced the spasticity. And she's at the moment she hasn't got any problems at all with the legs, but. She had a problem last week where um, she didn't take an ultrasound for four days and the spasticity started and it also started in her upper body as well. But when she started taking the ultrasound again after four days, it settled it all down again. Well, that's good news, isn't it? Mm. Well, I found when she first started, she was actually able to pull herself over in bed. She, at, um, she had a a, a relapse, um, which didn't help. She, she had a scan and it affected her a little bit. You know, an MRI scan and it affected her a little bit. I don't know why, but it um, caused the spasticity to start again. But after weeks and weeks, she sort of started to settle down again. Mm -hmm. But um, have, at have the moment, she's, she's not too bad. So has it helped with any other symptoms that Margaret has? Was it just a spasticity? Um, it, it, seem, it seems to have toned everything down. That where she had problems um, with her speech, you know, she, she could start to write a little bit again. She started to do that where she'd stopped. You know, she, well, she wasn't able to um, control her hands to write, but she can write a little bit now. Um, so it's helped her in that way. And um, a speech, she's quite, she, she's okay when she, you know, she talks, she can think all right, you know, her mind's fine, mm -hmm. so it's helped, you know, in that way. Okay. Yes, having cognitive problems is there. Uh, Pardon? Having cognitive problems where you have difficulty thinking and that is yeah, she's not, very she's, distressing. Yeah, she's, she's quite sharp. She, you know, she remembers things and you know, she's quite sharp now. Mm -hmm. So it, it did help with that. So you're still getting the LDN from Scotland? Yes, yes. She received some 
um, a couple of days ago. Mm-hmm. I've tested every month. And um, have you tried to get it from your own doctor? No, no. I've just I, I get it from um, the chemist in Scotland. I, I found a family essential health clinic. They put the order on with uh, the chemist, Dixon's chemist, mm-hmm. and yeah, they they send it by post, yeah. and we've had it the on the eleventh. I sent it the eleventh, let it the twelfth. It might be the worth month. asking your own doctor that you never know. Um, more and more people are getting it on the NHS. All you'd have to do then is send your prescription up to Glasgow. Well, I can um, ask them, but I don't think they'll give it. Right, but it was just that it'd be a bit of a saving for you if you didn't have to pay for it yourself. Mm. It's, it's not a lot of amount of money anyway. No. It, it, but, it, you know, I would certainly not stop giving it to her, you know, because I feel that it does, well, I know it helps her because when she didn't have it for the four days and the spasticity started again, as soon as we started it back on the naltrexone, within two days the spasticity had gone. That's good. Not the first day, the second day she took it, it mm-hmm. effectively stopped. Did Margaret notice any introductory side effects when she started? No, she didn't, funny enough. No, no, no. she only started on one mil. That, that's yeah. what they recommend, they start on one mil. Mm-hmm. And she, she, she was on that for um, four weeks, then she went on to two, and they'd done it like that. And so she, she, was, she built up slowly. Yes. What and dose does she take now? She went up to four and a half, but um, we, she's now on three. Right. You have to find the happy medium for the person, I think. Yes. I think, and what you do, you go up to four and a half, and you you keep a record of how they actually you know, go right, right the way through. So when she was on one, she started to show improvements within four days, five days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that quickly, mm-hmm. and um, then she kept on for one for the four weeks, then she went on to two, then three, then four, and she, she finished on four and a half, but it, it was um, at that stage, and, and I started to reduce it then to find out you know, what amount she would actually need to sort of, you know, People okay, mm-hmm. and we, we it's, she's on three, and um, that seems to be doing okay with her. Well, that's good. Well, I hope uh, LDN continues working for Margaret, and thank you very much for sharing your story.